Hello YouTube, I'm showing you right now actually the Mac OS X line, right? It's gonna be this is gonna be a brief demonstration of the beta that Apple seeded to Macintosh developers yesterday, right? So just to validate that I'm showing you guys an unbelievably new this is version 10.7 aka Lion and it is the current beta build by Apple, right? So let's start. Again, this is the new dock. I mean, I don't know what you call it new, but I mean the, the, the new layout, the default layout, right? So you have Launchpad here, and you have FaceTime instead of uh, iChat, right? And so Launchpad, if you don't know, Launchpad actually right now is uh, is supposed to be a way to you to access your application similar to how you access them in the iPhone, which is via a grid view. So if I open it up, you get this, right? You actually scroll past uh, pages the same as you do on the iPhone. You just with a magic mouse, you move them exactly as you would do on an iPhone, without actually clicking or anything using the multi-touch or using the directional pad, which if you don't like is an awesome one. I think it's, you can do that as well, right? And you can even make folders. You can see it here. You have folders with all the Sims games. Right here, for example, I have iWork, iLife, the utility folder which comes already made. For example, here I'll make you a folder and show you how making folders most of the time crashes. So let's say I make a folder, right? And if you try to rename it, right? Let's rename it to folder. It crashes, right? So yeah, I've noticed that happened quite a couple of times, but it's okay. I, I understand this beta, and you still see the folder never got renamed, right? So it's really how it was. So yeah, I still have to organize this and try to see. The thing about the, the beta, the, the bug, I might see if I might find a way to fix it, which I highly doubt, but yeah, pretty much. So that's, that is Launchpad, right? So let's go back, let's go to Finder. Finder has a new look. Actually, I really, really like it. For example, it's got all my files. It shows you here a look at all your files, and you actually pass by them. You pretty much move the magic mouse to the left to go to the right. Because again, everything here is reversed. Scrolling, you scroll exactly like you're in the iPhone. To go up, you scroll down. So you see, you scroll down, you go, you scroll up. I mean, you move your finger up on the magic mouse. Just how you do it on the iPhone, right? And again, you can see how you can run around. Use this. Looks pretty cool. Kind of like an album, uh, album cover, the album artwork right, the album cover thingy that you have on the iPhone when you put it on landscape or running the iPod app. Looks very, very cool. And actually, as you can tell, Apple apparently likes black and white now. Um, after iTunes 10 came out with black and white icons, you can see Finder now has black and white. There's this new thing called AirDrop, again, new with Mac OS X line, in which you can actually share your, your it's kind of similar to iDisk, only that everyone accesses it. So let's say I can, I'm, I'm my other, right now my MacBook here is installing the line, but once I have both, I'll show you AirDrop in detail. AirDrop, so there's two line computers running on Mac OS line. You can drop a file here from the other computer and I could receive the file, similar to iDisk in a way. And of course, everything else is the same, only that you have a new, you know, chromatic, what am I going to call it? The singularly chromatic pictures with only one color, right? Again, still have Macintosh HD, iDisk, whatnot, right? So yeah, that is pretty much Finder, and I believe you can also change the view of stuff. You can change it to scrolling like this. You can still scroll, and yeah, whatever. Yeah, you can see. You can still. Yeah, I better not be copyrighted by what I just did, but yeah, you can still quick view stuff as usual. Sorry about that, and uh, well, yeah. Let's find her. App Store is exactly the same. Only I've noted a few minor changes. You can check what version of the App Store you have right now. But I have version 1.1. I believe you should have version 1.0. And version 1.1 has, I, I haven't noted anything except the fact that when you look at the icons up here, they are different. They're actually highlighted. Like, they look like they're highlighted. It's a little different. But, but I mean, not much else. I haven't noticed anything else besides that. Uh, I, I would suppose it might have improved how fast things happen and whatnot, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the Mac App Store. Just close up. Another thing you would notice, for example, it's load up, I don't know, iTunes. It bounces and whatnot, right? And But you don't see the icon highlighted at the bottom. Oh yeah, 
screen up. I have no idea why I installed that, but yeah, whatever. Right below the application while it's running, if you were running Mac OS and Snow Leopard, you would have a little highlighted, it would be highlighted at the bottom, but now in line it isn't. I guess it's just to signify that all apps remember where they are and you have to know which one's running and whatnot, but yeah, whatever. Let's just close that. Oh well, just ignore that for now. And that's iTunes and it's Safari. A little bit Safari. Safari is a little bit changed, so you can tell everything looks different. The navigation bars. Apple has now gone from the plain old gray gradient navigation bars to these that look exactly like the navigation bars on the Mac App Store. Right? They're kind of like a kind of like look that looks like gray recycled paper type of navigation bars. Right? And and of course, you now have the full screen icon in most of Apple's apps, which I originally I thought that when Apple showed it off in the, the keynote, the September first keynote, or well, yeah, the Mac back to the Mac keynote, I thought that all apps would automatically have full screen. It, it was kind of native implementation, but now I've noticed that it isn't necessarily like that. The developer has to add add its own full screen mode. It isn't added automatically by the operating system. So only a handful of apps, which are the ones that Apple provided have full screen, right? But well, anyway, this new icon would appear and as usual, you just click it and everything just jumps out. You can still go back to your desktop and access full screen apps, right? And here I have all the full screen apps I am using. I'm using Mail, which I'll, I forgot to show you guys. Yeah, Mail, Apple completely redesigned the Mail user interface to make it look a lot like the iPad user interface in terms of Mail. So yeah, you have one colon here and you have the actual look here so you can Scroll down through all that, and well, yeah, you have it in full screen, and you're gonna get smaller by that. So, here, for example, let's go to our website, and it loads fairly quickly. You don't have the gesture to go back anymore, which I noticed. I think you have that in the, well, the trackpad version, but using the two to go back, you would, you would be directed back to where you were, which I prefer, but whatever. Yeah, that's Safari. Address book. It looks a lot like the iPad one, although this one doesn't support full screen. You can resize it though. Looks, it's more, I would call it more like a widget though, because it does seem more like a widget. So yeah. And well, well yeah, that's pretty much, you can also search your contacts and whatnot. Right? Just leave that there. And you have um, iCall. iCall now looks again a lot like the calendar in Mac OS X, iOS, sorry. And again, you can pass by all of your full screen apps very simply, very easily with very little with ease. Of course, you can change all of this and you can always go back to your desktop. And uh, Photo Booth has no changes. iPhoto, of course, these are in the name apps mm -hmm. implemented in the operating system and all of these. Time Machine actually haven't checked. I believe there's something new that. Every time you're working on, on a document, I don't know how I'm going to be able to show this to you, but every time you're working on a document, you can actually check older versions of your document. I don't know if you access that via Time Machine, but I would guess you would. And, um, see into the Time Machine. I don't know. Well, anyway, let's open up system preferences. And there's very little change in system preferences. It's only new settings, of course. Users are not renamed to users and groups. You can actually set a master password. For the whole system, you have appearance, desktop, and screensaver. Under desktop and screensaver, you have the Mount Fuji, and I don't, I don't seem to find the little Lotus one. But if you guys want the screensaver, it's just um, yeah, the desktop background. Just ask me, and I'll be more than happy to send you them via media fire or something. So yeah, and I believe in screensavers. There's not much of a difference. Just have the same ones. I haven't checked this though. I have my app wall screensaver, which I like. So yeah, for that I, I believe it's the same. And again, in mouse there's new options. You can actually double tap to, to mission control. I'll show you guys that right now in a minute. You can also swipe left to right to navigate. You can also set that to for mission control, but um, yeah, I, I, I prefer double tap for mission control. Screen zoom, you have out now have options. So for example, let's enter screen zoom. You can actually make it move around with the, with the, with the icon, you can also make it center, 
the mouse at all times and make it how it was, which is remotely or more useful. I, I like to leave it like this, right? And of course, you can also change this the way it, it won't. It would it would scroll correctly how it was in Mac OS X and all that good, right? Oh yeah, better to leave it like that. You can still leave it how it was before, but it's better for mission control since you get to scroll a lot like it was on the iPad. So I'll leave it on the iPad. And time machine, I have I don't know it has now has it just shows you yeah how it is. And besides that, you know, everything looks very very similar. You don't have expose anymore, so they should change that. So you have expose. I don't know. You still have space though. Yeah. No spaces it is again, yeah. Because I what I've heard is that you unified spaces and expose in one thing, right? And uh, well, yeah, that's some preferences. Now, let me show you guys expose uh, mission control. Sorry, so let's add a lot of pages. Let's escape, I'm trying to make it small. Small, oh, okay, make it smaller and let's make many pages. In Safari, right? So you have many, many different pages, and and you want to be a final way to be able to access them easily, right? So you enter mission control. To enter mission control, I said the gesture, you have to double tap, not click. You don't click. Double tap with two fingers. With two fingers, you just tap twice on the magic mouse, and you see, for example, Safari. You need to make Safari bigger to access all the stuff. Again, you scroll up with two fingers, and you can access all of them in detail. Pretty simple, you can also access dashboard, for example. You can also access desktop, iCal. All, all, here are all the apps that are full screen, right? So just quit. And for example, if you were to leave Safari full screen, I haven't tried this yet, but let's see what happens. Make it full screen, and then you add a lot. Apparently it just makes different, it doesn't organize them. Well it does actually. Well yeah it does organize them. Well, well, well yeah that, that's pretty much mission control. It's an easy way to sort through your apps, it's pretty handy. I like it more than Exposing, it's, it's cooler. Right? And besides that, that's all I found out. Actually I'll make another video showing you how to do access, what's it called, the airdrop, that thing. And also another video speaking about all the other features I left out, which I will go step by step. Right? This is just so I can get this all done because I want to be in the same time limit that uh, that um, yeah that YouTube puts. So yeah, thanks for watching this video, comment, rate, subscribe, expect more videos, visit the ticket for more information on my posting. Bye and thanks for watching. Goodbye.